Treasure Coast Connector. Connecting residents and businesses of the Treasure Coast. And here's your host, Ellen Contreras. Well, welcome to Treasure Coast Connector. I'm your host, Ellen Contreras, and I am proud to announce that WeVenture is one of the sponsors, and they work with startups. They work with entrepreneurs and established businesses in Brevard, in Indian River, and St. Lucie counties. They are providing no-cost and low-cost uh, educational seminars and workshops to help businesses grow and scale. To learn all about them, check out the website, weventure.fit.edu, W-E-V-E-N-T-U-R-E dot F-I-T dot E-D-U, the phone number 321-674-7007. So Treasure Coast Connector is a show that puts a spotlight on local business owners because everyone has a great backstory for why they started their business, what makes their products and services so unique and special. We want to support the local economy by doing this. So this show, I have in the studio with me Catherine Rudloff, who is the executive director of We Venture, the sponsor, and Amber Bachelor, and she is the director of the Women's Business Center within We Venture. And this couldn't come at a more perfect time because the coronavirus, yeah, it's hurting the economy, it's hurting businesses, but they are here to help grow them and help them thrive and survive. So welcome, ladies to the show. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having, having us. Oh, I got all of that out. So that happy good. about You're that. You're hired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get so excited to introduce everybody that sometimes I've said this before, I forget to breathe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forget <laughs> to breathe. But you know what I want to do? I want to start out by learning a little bit more about you ladies and what drives you. So we're going to start off with you, Catherine. What made you want to help the business owners with the evolution of their companies? Sure. So my background is actually in politics, and I have worked in Washington, D.C. I worked on campaigns at every level, local, state, and national. And I actually served as the first campaign manager and district director for our congressman, Bill Posey. And um, constituent service and advocacy is what I like to say my background really is Mm -hmm. in communicating with the public and making the federal government feel very attainable and close to the people. And having worked in the congressman's office, um, I really got a sense of just how great the need is sometimes that on the ground, we run into a lot of hurdles um, dealing with, you know, various agencies and and programs. Mm -hmm. So when this position opened up with WeVenture, I had already been um, doing some business consulting and business advocacy for about four or five years. And I'm actually married to a serial entrepreneur. My husband has um, nice. founded numerous companies. Um, his first one when he was just in junior high was uh-huh. one of the first internet providers up in Brevard. Um, and so being married to a serial entrepreneur, having worked in business advocacy, I saw this as a really a perfect blend of my background and experience because as we're seeing with the COVID pandemic, yeah. We are Mm -hmm. SBA funded where the Florida Institute of Technology has a grant from the SBA to host a women's business center. Mm -hmm. And so we are really the boots on the ground for the government right now, working with small businesses, Mm -hmm. helping them access the various relief packages that are available um, and walking hand in hand with them to make sure we all get through this together. Well, very nice. And you also love the business community. You're very business savvy yourself. So what drives you? So I love that the Women Business Center program really started to advocate and empower women. So mm-hmm. when oh, I started yeah. out, I was I went to school for business. I got hired in industrial engineering, but it was the best thing that could have happened to me because it really helps you understand the logistics behind running a business. The nuts and bolts. The nuts I love and puns. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And then from there, I went from engineering to marketing and development because they're like, you're one of our only engineers that likes people. We have to get you in front of our clients. <laughs> yeah, wow. So I got an mm-hmm. opportunity to work with people starting their business in their garage for medical supply services and help them 
build um, a really great supply chain to get them in a warehouse right next to Amazon in Northern Virginia. Mm -hmm. So those were the types of businesses that I worked with. We call them middle market small businesses. And then that catapulted me to work with nonprofits. I wanted to do more work without having to push a product or service, yeah. but really just to empower and advocate for the success of their business. Mm -hmm. So that ultimately led me to this fantastic opportunity with Florida Tech through WeVenture. So thank you, Catherine, for, yeah. for uh, letting us know about the great opportunities about WeVenture in the community because we first mm -hmm. met uh, several months ago. Well, wonderful. So now what I'd like is just like a little overview of how we venture got started and some of the things, you know, that that you do or sure. actually, you know what? We're going to talk about the programs later. So it's more like what got it started and who are the types of people that you work with and serve? Absolutely. Yeah. So we venture, as I mentioned, is um, a started with a grant from the Small Business Administration to found a women's business center. And that program began in the 80s when there was fewer than, it was like 2 million women-owned businesses around the nation. Wow. And so it started off as just a pilot program um, from Congress. And then when it was made as a permanent program, maybe they were happy with the results. We were in that first wave of um, grants that mm -hmm. was awarded back in 2007. And since then, the Florida Institute of Technology has invested and supported WeVenture and it has continued to grow. And now um, in normal times, we're a staff of four mm -hmm. that help entrepreneurs and um, aspiring entrepreneurs come up with a business plan. And we like to say launch and grow their business. Right. And now with this um, addition of Ignite. additional funding, oh, yes. well, additional funding with the mm -hmm. CARES Act, we really like to say that we're focusing on helping existing businesses sustain through the challenges we're facing while maintaining our programs for entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. But yes, our Ignite 360 program is unique yeah. to our center. Yeah, and we're going to get into we'll that, get into that, that in, okay. in just a moment. So it is men and women business owners. Absolutely. Okay. But then there is the Women's Business Center. So did you want to talk a little bit about the types of people that, that, that you help? Because I think some people think that it's only for somebody who has an idea or just getting started. But you're working with companies at different stages. I just want to... Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's a very great point. And Catherine touched on the fact that we want to help people sustain through their current challenges. Mm -hmm. So in order to do that, you know, they've already been in business for a little while at least. So mm -hmm. we absolutely want the inception of an idea. Bring it to us so we can help you as mm -hmm. you are launching your venture. And then all the way through businesses that have already been in business for a while. So if they've been in business for one to three years, that's a perfect opportunity to maybe readjust or realign as a lot of businesses are doing right now. Challenges. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but we also have worked with businesses that have been around for over five years. So it really just depends on what stage of their business they're in, where they have identified that they could use a little uh, additional support. Mm -hmm. and, and that's where we come in with our, our experts. And I'm so glad that you're here because, yes, with the coronavirus, I think there's a lot of people. Some are thriving. Some are successfully pivoting. But some are in this phase of, gosh, I'm not quite sure what I need to do. And of course, there are people that unfortunately went out of business, but we would love to capture the people that are sitting there going, now what? And here is a great solution, a wonderful set of resources. So before we go into Ignite 360, which is so exciting, let's talk about the different other programs and events and, and things that, that you offer. So, so I'll start. And yeah. then if I miss anything, Amber, you can... Yeah. Yeah. You guys will tag team. We'll tag, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um, we are big believers in um, group and training lessons. So while we do offer um, complimentary consultation for one-on-one -on -one business coaching, mm -hmm. um, we do strive to put our clients um, paired up to either group training sessions or webinars, or we've started peer groups now where um, individuals who are facing a similar challenge or need help in a particular area, let's say human resources mm -hmm. or supply chain, that will pair them with a subject matter expert in a small group of say 10 or 12 other small business owners and they can journey together and meet at a time and a frequency that's set for them but to work through those issues learn from each other and support each other like a mastermind um, group it is exactly like, like a yeah. mastermind group yeah and we find that a lot of business owners again when you're an entrepreneur you feel you have to be the jack of all trades and you must do it all yourself yep. as we were talking mm -hmm. earlier ellen and it's really about letting business owners know that they have partners here. So one-on-one um, -on -one consultation, we offer group trainings, webinars mostly now because mm -hmm. we're social distancing. Yep. Peer groups are in place. And then we have subject matter experts. And those are our 
faculty members and those are folks from the community who are you know either your experienced businesses or your accounting professionals legal professionals um, and we basically consult them out um, and so they are able to work with our clients one-on-one -on -one and um, mm -hmm. you know walk with them you know through a, a specific structure yeah Did I miss anything we have some other well i'm sure there's other stuff there's always something there's, there's yeah. always more but but catherine covered exactly the core of what we do. I mean, we have a few um, events and programs that we have turned into virtual support. So mm -hmm. we have upcoming August 7th, our Strong Coffee, Strong Women, where we will be talking about how to use coping mechanisms in your personal and professional yeah. life mm -hmm. and how truly to pivot. But really, it's just a nice segue into supporting mental health. So we'll have a mental health expert on that call. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also have other events and programs that um, women can check out on our website, which you gave earlier, yeah. weventure.fit.edu. And well, can we mention, we have yeah, a, um, a business launch program, and this is the second summer that we've done that business launch program. We call it our goal-oriented entrepreneurs making strides, our GEMS program for short, and they're graduating this week. So we will actually Aww. be doing a Facebook Live on our mm -hmm. page uh, where our, um, in the middle of a pandemic, we had women sign up to say, this is the right time to find financial independence. This is yeah. the right time to pursue my dream mm -hmm. or my goal, or I now finally have the time mm -hmm to pursue this idea. And so we are really excited that for the last 12 weeks, we've helped them um, hone in on their business plan and do yeah. their market research. Mm -hmm. And this Thursday, they'll be graduating and filing paperwork to launch their businesses. That is exciting. And then I'm sure with social media, you'll be highlighting, you know, as time goes on, you'll be putting a spotlight back on them to show their, their progress Absolutely. and how they're utilizing what they've learned. It's so. the, been the most inspiring part of this whole pandemic. When I get down in those days that are long and the news yeah. just seems to get bad, I just think of that class that every Thursday these women are coming together and they mm -hmm. are, they're all so committed and driven and we have some really unique good ideas. And so I'm so proud of them for seeing opportunity, maybe where others are seeing challenges mm -hmm. or just for finally seeing their opportunity to, to pursue their ideas. Very nice. And so statistically, whenever there is a downturn in the economy, that's what I'll just call it, a slight downturn, a kerfuffle perhaps even. But but statistically, there have been businesses that have been born oh, sure. in a bad time that have just taken off. We call that so, a business boom. Yeah. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I don't want people to think they're sitting there on a good idea. There's no harm in reaching out to, to connect with you. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they can reach out to us and mm -hmm. schedule an initial business consult. It takes 45 minutes of their day mm -hmm. to just tell us about their passion, why they got started. And then we will support them with understanding what resources we venture provides to align with where they are in the stage of either that idea concept or if they're further along and they mm -hmm. already have um, filed some paperwork to be a little more official. But yeah. yes, they can absolutely call and we can support them. Well, very good. So for the people that are watching this on live stream and TV, okay, they're, they're seeing your number and contact information as Cindy, the radio show producer, is putting that up. But for the people listening on the radio, can you say the, the phone number again before we go to break? Sure. You can call us at area code 321-674-7007. All right. And what we'll do now is we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We have a lot more to discuss when we return. Can I speak now? Stop. Don't make a one, five, or ten thousand dollar mistake. Remember the name Atlantic Hardscapes. Atlantic Hardscapes has the best prices for all your hardscape needs from pottery founds, synthetic turf, pavers, rock, topsoil fill, boulders, flagstone, outdoor kitchens, and much more. Delivery and installation is available. Their beautiful outdoor showroom is next to Pineapple Joe's in Fort Pierce. Remember their website AtlanticHardscapesSupply.com. Waves Auto Spa, known as Vero's fastest and finest. A car wash known for their quality equipment and attention to detail by a friendly and courteous staff. 
Waves offers soft cloth technology and a top-notch detail center will help preserve the value of your car. Waves now offers windshield chip repair, and in most cases, it doesn't cost you a dime. Spend less time and get a better quality experience for you and your car at Waves Auto Spa, US1 Vero Beach, across from Kmart Plaza. Open seven days a week. This year, let the professionals at Premier Landscape Solutions enhance your property's curb appeal. Our expert design team can help turn your tired landscaping into the perfect backyard and create a customized care plan that will keep your property looking great year-round. 772-925-0030. Visit our website at VeroBeachLandscaping.com. From bare bones to beautiful, let us transform your space today. We don't make excuses, we make results. Premier Landscape Solutions. Visit board-certified, fellowship-trained vitreal retinal surgeon, Dr. Robert Reinauer at New Vision Eye Center. Vitreal retinal surgery is required to fix many of the diseases of the retina, macula, and vitreous fluid of the eye. Dr. Reinauer's core focus is the surgical care of the retina, including retinal detachments, medical treatment of dry and wet macular degeneration, and diabetic eye care. Your eyesight deserves world-class eye care. Visit newvisioneyecenter.com or call 772-257-8700. Why did the countdown stop? Because it's the countdown to Buzz TV Channel 1098, Comcast Xfinity, and it's here. Local content for Sebastian Vero and Fort Pierce. Tune in for local info, happenings, and fun, including all the great Planet Vero TV shows from 8 to 10 a.m. and p.m. Dial in Channel 1098 for Buzz TV on your Comcast Xfinity box and discover what the buzz is all about. Treasure Coast Connector. I'm your host, Ellen Contreras. We Venture is the, one of the sponsors, and they're here in the studio today. So, Catherine Rudloff, the Executive Director, Amber Bachelor, the Director of the Women's Business Center within We Venture. We're going to dive right back into this conversation because there's a lot to talk about. The nice thing is, you're going to be back on again in a few months because there's going to be even more to say because business never stops. Success can't be held back. Oh, no. And success, Ignite 360. This is an amazing program. So I want to hear all about it because there there is a cost for this, but fear not because it's amazing. It's worth every penny. However, there is something exciting for a small group of people that it's not going to cost them. I'm not going to talk anymore. Who wants to start about Ignite 360? One of you take it All away. All the suspense. We'll have Catherine yeah. do it. Okay, so Ignite 360, <laughs> this is a program that was actually um, founded by, and it's trademarked and um, by Florida Tech, and we have licensed it out to a few other um, women's business centers and organizations. But what we do is we work with business owners to identify their pain point. And, you know, where is that you need to make strategic change or um, make significant strategic planning and we like to say to prepare for growth or to handle that um, challenges that are facing your business. And so we pair up each business with their own plan and set of expert um, mentors. That's why it's called Ignite 360 Mentoring Program. Okay. And they work with the small business owner once a month for six months. And it is a very outcome driven plan where we start off at the beginning. Um, with our goals and objectives of what you will work on. There is homework to be done. It is a very intense program. Yeah. But our clients at the end see an average of 40% um, jump in revenue. Um, and we have some that have seen, love it. you know, 200% jump in revenue. So it really is, um, it's, we like to say outcome driven, Mm -hmm. proven results and it is about strategic change for your business right and not only a revenue jump but sometimes jobs are created too absolutely love that it's so that's, sustainable growth we really yeah. want to help and, and as amber was saying earlier those businesses when you've been around for um, three or five years and you have a proven model you know you've got a great product or um, service that you're offering it's doing the organizational groundwork to make sure that you can grow sustainably. Mm -hmm. You can grow and, and expand. Um, and so we're really proud of that program. We're excited to offer it. And as you mentioned, yeah. thanks to the um, funding from the CARES Act, um, the we figured this is exactly what businesses struggling right now need. They need to revisit their business plan. They need to look at the pain points of how their either supply chain has been disrupted or their sales stream. 
um, and help them identify that pivot Mm -hmm. and prepare for sustainable growth in whatever this new normal is. And because it's that six month program, it really does walk hand in hand with the businesses through this difficult time. And we're going to ensure they come out the other end better positioned um, and, yeah. and ready for growth. And there's a whole list of experts that I saw on your website. It's a whole, yes. it's like, it's not a team. It seems like an army with a lot of names on, on that list. Yeah. And so how, how many companies do you have funding for? Or is there, so, so, or do you, I mean, you do it. Yeah. yeah. So okay. we're looking for at least 31, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. we're looking for 31 because That is a really great sweet spot. So we really want to make sure, one, that they get the attention that they need. And then also, two, that they're not afraid to reach out because it's going to be some really big, intimidating group. So as Catherine mentioned, we want those 31 businesses Mm -hmm. to reach out to us so we can talk to them about the program um, and about their challenges that they're having. Because a lot of people think, okay, great, I'm going to call, I'm going to sign up, it's going to start right away, it's going to be really intimidating. But really, that's not it at all. Mm -hmm. Um, So Kathy of Register is our director for Ignite360, and Mm -hmm. she does a phenomenal job of transitioning businesses into the Ignite360 program. So it starts off a little slow, and then we pick up once the businesses have identified that, okay, I'm ready to really hit the ground running now. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. So now another thing, I'm just looking at my time, because as Cindy knows, I'm always always ahead of time. (laughs) Not always, but there is an annual leadership conference that has always been very exciting. I have heard from other people, but it's virtual this year, but that's okay. We're going to get back there eventually. What is this leadership conference? I, actually, I think that uh, the moving virtual will be really exciting for us because our annual conference, we call it the Impact Summit. Mm-hmm. It's a leadership conference for women. And we have a lot of small businesses who use it as um, gender diversity training for their staff. Um, and so they'll come every year and we put together a forum, um, just like any other conference where you've got speakers, we've got breakout sessions. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's usually just a really wonderful afternoon for um, the community to come together to talk about you yeah. know empowering women in the workplace. Mm-hmm. However, this year because of COVID nineteen, um, we've decided we just can't afford to have two hundred of the community's most influential and fantastic women all in one room. That is true, and have that risk. So by moving it to a virtual platform, we are encouraging folks to consider watching in a small group watch party. So I would love for you to get together yeah. with your. Um, book club, your colleagues. Um, We would love for small business owners to still use this as leadership training for their teams and Mm -hmm. watch it together. And in that small group format, we'll provide discussion questions and try to facilitate that wonderful feeling that we get at the conference every year and our socially distant CDC recommended guideline, you know, safety small groups. Yes. But then we are also supplementing it with two online live webinars with two of our speakers. So on the Friday of the summit and on Monday, you can join in for a live Q&A with two of our speakers. And because we're virtual, Mm -hmm. we were actually able to secure nationally renowned speakers. We have the chair, um, Liz Sarah, who is the chair of the National Women's Business Council Mm -hmm. um, that reports directly to Congress and the administration on the status of women in business. We have General Ian Dunwoody, retired, who was the first female four-star general. Um, I have Sandra Spielberg, who Mm -hmm. um, is a immigrant, a female entrepreneur who was a solo founder and launched a tech company without being a software engineer and was able to exit successfully. And she inspires women to um, not let the mold or the idea of what a startup should look like Mm -hmm. influence, you know, to build the company you were meant to build. And she's wonderful. And then our final speaker, Um, Lisa Deinhofer is known as the crisis tamer, and she works with companies um, to help manage through crisis and um, respond to tragedy. And Mm -hmm. so she's going to talk to us about as women leaders in the workplace, thriving through this crisis and leading our employees with confidence. Well, that is very exciting. So Cindy held up the the two-minute two minute. mark fingers. So what I'm going to do, even though you're here in the room, I just want to let everyone know that we venture. I am proud to say that they are a sponsor of this show because that I interview business owners. They help business owners, and they're working with uh, startups and entrepreneurs and established businesses. They are providing tools and resources and education. You can get a hold of them, 321 
674-7007 or weventure.fit.edu. And uh, I just want to say thank you so much. We have a few seconds. I'm just going to take this to the very end by saying thank you, Amber. Thank you, Catherine, thank for you being for here. Us. And you know what's happening? There are people going, I need to talk to them. Oh, you are providing yes. a, a a ray of, of sunshine on what has been kind of gray-ish, you know, with this coronavirus. It's so important. They know that we're all in this together. And if we can be of assistance to any business in Indian River or St. Lucie County, mm -hmm. um, we would really be honored to help you. Yes, that's wonderful. So you know what I hope everyone has? I hope everyone has a wonderful and productive week. My name is Ellen Contreras, and I'm the host of Treasure Coast Connector. See you next week, everybody.